So scalar and vector. Scalar vector we have to count. Already I have told you physical quantity. So uh, friends, the quantity, which quantity is such, just magnitude only. Only it has it possess magnitude. Example, mass, your length, your time, your temperature. So all these things can be expressed completely by the magnitude only. For example, mass 10 kg completely represents what is the mass value length 10 centimeter so completely represents time 10 second temperature 30 degree centigrade so by specifying the mass we can completely define the magnitude or the value of these quantities so these quantities are called scalar quantities right so the quantities which can be expressed only by means of magnitude then we can say those are scalar quantities. But what is vector quantity? Vector quantities, the magnitude is not sufficient to express the value of the vector quantities. For example, force. If I will say force, then I have to specify if, if, if 10 Newton, I will say 10 Newton force. It is expressing, but it is expressing only the magnitude. But it is failing to express at which point or in which direction that force is applied Kahi na ame, suppose 80 body body achi, ame, if I will uh, apply some force the body will displace along this direction so that's why if you force apply hila ta refers into displacement hila so direction is also important in which direction the body will displace na, the jo direction the force is applied the direction in which the force is applied the body will displace along the same direction so that's why we need to specify the direction. First, force khali no torque achi, both sara quantities are there. Jahara, I mean magnitude and your its direction are needed to completely specify. So those quantities are called vector quantities. Friends, important uh, things uh, I should say about vector quantities. Suppose I mean data scalar quantity ko add kare. For example, the 10 kg mass soi to 5 kg mass add kare. What is the result? 15 kg. So simply scalar addition means our normal algebraic addition to take 10 plus 5 equal to 15 but friends if you add 10 newton force with 5 newton force then it will not be 15 rather it is something else and suppose mt particular force 10 newton apply hmt as actor and another force is 20 newton so by scalar addition we can say 20 plus 10 equal to 30 but if you say about vector addition because Data force is nothing but your vector quantities. So 20 and 10 cannot be added by scalar addition or by algebraic addition simply. That is a law, that is your parallelogram law which you will read in your uh, regular class in detail. So that parallelogram law will decide what will be the resultant. Similarly, this is analytical method. Graphically, we have a pipe triangle law. So if there are two number of forces, there is two laws, one is graphical method, that is your triangle law and from analytical method, your parallelogram law will keep the resultant. That is more than two forces, if there are acting, then we will uh, go for polygon law. Polygon law will give the resultant of number of forces graphically. And there is a method, your resolution method, method of resolution, the principle of resolution will give the resultant. So all these things you will read and uh, uh, vectors are also what a product of I mean, suppose 3 into 5 I mean, 15 which is vector with product is algebraic multiplication uh, a, suppose a is one vector b is another vector this a and b can be multiplied in two ways as per the vector multiplication one is called dot product another is called cross product so dot product result as you know, scalar j express a dot b that is a b cos theta and friends what is theta angle between a and b and cross product and that is a b sin theta and of course it is a vector quantity that's why tasita me n cap fully like you which represents the vector right so all these things you will read i am not going in detail again so now friends kinematics chapter 3 what is kinematics now kinematics ray we will read about the motion friends already i have told you whenever we will apply a force on a body the body will be displaced 
so this displacement is nothing but the motion so what is the motion whenever whenever a body changes its position with respect to time for example if you have observed at 10 am 10 am the position of the body is at a at this position and you have observed that at 30 minutes the body is moved to this point b or changed its position to point b after 30 minutes that is exactly at 10 30 am you have seen this is the position that means the body has changed its position with respect to time so definitely body of motion actually if you will see at 10 30 am it has not changed its position rather same point then rest right so this is your kinematics by motion right suppose a to b distance is distance travel and in how much time t time friends Suppose I am going to say, Bhubneswar to Kathak, somebody has traveled. I am going to say, Bhubneswar to Kathak, the Kodi kilometer distance, let's say 20 kilometers. So, 20 kilometer distance you have traveled with how much speed, with let's say speed B, and you have time get it, now exactly 20 minutes. Right? So, you have traveled with uh, how much speed, now distance 20 kilometer, and speed is 20 minutes. 20 minutes means how much second? Or hour. 20 minutes means 20 by 60. So this is 1 by 3 hour. So that means 20 kilometer ku one third of hour you have taken. So what is the speed? Distance by time. Get the distance travel to like 20. Get the time rate 1 by 3. So this represents 60 kilometer per hour. That means if you uh, move with this speed, then you can travel in one hour 60 kilometers. In one hour, you can travel 60 kilometers. So, 20 minutes, you can travel 20 kilometers. So, this is your speed. These things you will write. Kinematics of body. And what is acceleration? Acceleration jadi rohila, then speed will increase gradually or speed will increase continuously. So this suppose at, at certain period of time I'm thinking less speed of increase only. Suppose velocity is 60, the same 60 maintain he can say acceleration zero. Because acceleration setabad as well as the speed change. The speed change only, then acceleration will be zero. So detail about kinematics you will read. And friends, another thing I should say, kinematics I'm a body by straight line motion. A body is under straight line motion and under vertical motion. Whenever a body is moving vertically upward, it is called motion against gravity. Right? Because gravity is moving or acting downward. So we are moving upward. So against gravity. That means, see your acceleration as simple, that is nothing but your g minus g. And friends, what they think you should know, you should remember this, I can say. कि गोटे बॉडी जेते बड़े ऊपर को जाऊ छी एट द टॉप मोस्ट पोजीशन से पोजीशन ने तार वेलोसिटी जीरो दिस थिंग यू शुड रिमेंबर ऑलवेज इट विल हेल्प यू इट विल बी हेल्पिंग यू सो व्हेनेवर आई विल थ्रो सम ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इट विल रीच सर्टेन हाइट देन इट विल फॉल सो एट दैट पोजीशन से जो मैक्सिमम हाइट रीच कला सेही पर्टिकुलर पोजीशन रे तार काइनेटिक एनर्जी जीरो वेलोसिटी नाही बोली तो से अगेन तळ को घसला ना वेलोसिटी थिला आउ ऊपर जा ये सब so this thing you should know and whenever it will fall, falling will be initial velocity zero because say topmost point rate velocity in right? So these things you should remember, this is motion against gravity, Toluku as Laluku motion in the favor of gravity but motion due to gravity you can say, three falling to time coach, right? So these things you will read in kinematics, right? And in chapter four, this is work and friction, right? So what is work? Work on. Friends, I will throw an object from certain height, suppose 80, 20 good object I am uh, putting in my hand. Now I will lift this object. Right? So if whenever I am putting on my hand, it has certain energy, it possesses certain energy. Now whenever I will lift this, now 80 velocity is zero. So gradually I have moved. So I have added some velocity. So, it to move how much distance I have moved? So, let's say h. So, if weight is mg, then I have uh, 
supplied mgh is the height so this mgh amount of work to this body so that this work is stored inside of the body right so jetabade body upar ko jauchi ami we are doing some work so say work store hu chi inside of the body so friends work keto bala simo na whenever a body is acted upon by a force such that the body is getting displaced if there is no displacement then no work is done but a uh, funny example mu kahi bhi if mu jodi uh, one quintal of load nahi ki for one day and one night if i will stand absolutely i am doing no work because i am not moving so displacement zero so whenever a force is associated with the displacement then work out suppose it about a body it has a force apply kale f and suddenly it has displaced to this position and the displacement is s a center na count karu che center na so the displacement is s then we can say the work done is force into displacement force into displacement and here the displacement and the force are along the same direction now that the f go to direction re s another direction re then there is a formula you will find this is f dot s or fs cos theta is the work formula so this things you will read again in uh, work and friction so again friction what is friction repeatedly you may know sir from the school life you are reading friction kon friction means an opposing force which comes into play whenever a body moves or tends to move over another body so what this is a surface right this is a surface and it is uh, uh, and a body is placed over this surface so whenever we want to move this body so that we have i have applied a force p then the body may get displaced or may not the reason is suppose p ta sufficient helani ta move kariba fine then body level so if this p is applied <coughs> so that the body will get displaced so displacement asila then only then also friction will arise so friends why this friction arises because if we closely peek under microscope closely watch under microscope you will find all the surfaces of the nature nature ta me kichhi bhi surface jahan bhi dekhu chu all the surfaces will look like this way be manner right so whenever another surface will be there also having same kind of surface this surface is you can say irregularities or roughness right so this let's say this is body one this is body two body two one upar move kare ko try karuchi ba move karuchi then interlocking will be there means these projections will be inserted in the recesses so that the motion will be prevented opposed so motion opposed right so whenever body two will move over one or tends to move over one motion is prevented and friend co direction of friction asibo jehetu opposition hochi motion right ko hochi so definitely friction asibo left ko so this friction is only arise because of the roughness if i will say two surfaces or two bodies are in direct contact let's say body one body two again it will be body to move karchi over body one but e jo surface achi surface ro roughness hi nahi completely finished surface surface finish complete infinite so roughness nahi so that there is no opposition or e case there friction zero right so friction is only due to the roughness of the surface so this this is an important thing you should know how got him kahi friction bhi sare कि फ्रिक्शन यू नो सपोज द बॉडी इज नॉट मूविंग बट आई एम अप्लाइंग फोर्स देन व्हाट एवर फ्रिक्शन विल कम लेट्स से एफ वैल्यू फ्रिक्शन आसीला देन दिस एफ एंड पी ऑलवेज इक्वल राइट इक्वल ऑक्सी बोल तो बैलेंस इज ना सो इफ आई विल गो ऑन इंक्रीजिंग दिस पी वैल्यू सपोज 1 न्यूटन थिला एफ 1 थिला एफ पी को मु 2 न्यूटन अप्लाई करली एफ बी आल्सो 2 इज सो लॉन्ग एज द बॉडी uh doesn't move the body will not move say for them to applied force and the frictional force are equal and got a particular position as go particular instant as go i can say so say instant re applied force and frictional force saman hobo and after that if i will increase the applied force frictional force will never increase 
आउ काउंटर बैलेंस करी परिवो नहीं एंड द बॉडी विल मूव बॉडी स्टार्ट करे मूव करीबा राइट सो सेही पॉइंट रे सपोज अप्लाइड फोर्स 9 न्यूटन फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स 9 न्यूटन सो एही पॉइंट रे बॉडी मोशन करू नाही बट व्हेनेवर अप्लाइड फोर्स 9 न्यूटन रूट 10 न्यूटन होची आउ फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स 9 टा 10 होनी रादर इट इज डिक्रीज्ड दैट्स 8.9 न्यूटन सो दैट वी कैन से द अप्लाइड फोर्स इज मोर देन द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स सो ऑब्वियसली बॉडी मूव करबो और सेही सिचुएशन रे जो जेथि कि भी फ्रिक्शन आसुची दैट फ्रिक्शन वी कैन से काइनेमेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिकॉज the body is under motion so friends static condition whenever the body was not in motion jo friction asila that is called static friction and static friction always equal with the applied force but the maximum will get reach out chi jo value ru above our friction jai paruni and that is called limiting friction remember this is the maximum value of the static friction or i can say ki sei maximum value ta se pair of surface ra hi maximum that to adhik friction se dekh rahe hain so limiting friction is the maximum value and after that jodi hum applied force increase karu che body will displace and jo friction asibo that will somewhat somewhat less than the uh, limiting friction which is called kinematic friction right so all these things you will read and the last chapter your gravitation last chapter hum kahi bhi nahi because amar phase 1 aur last chapter i can say so gravitation already you know कि इन आवर स्पेस जेते सारा प्लैनेट्स अछि जेते सारा स्टार्स अछि वी कैन से ऑल आर ग्रेविटीज समस्त अगर गोटे ग्रेविटी रहि छि गोटे इन्फ्लुएंस रहि छि टू अपन अदर राइट वन प्लैनेट आ गोटे प्लैनेट ऊपर इन्फ्लुएंस करु छि इन्फ्लुएंस रहि छि सपोज हम हम कहिबा यू नो न्यूटन्स लॉ कहु छि ओवर ग्रेविटेशन अपन ग्रेविटेशन कोन कहु छि ना ईच ऑब्जेक्ट each object putting equal forces upon other objects that means if a and b if, uh, just an example if a body is a another body is b and these two bodies are separated by a distance of d then according to newton's law ki a b upar force apply karchi b also applies force on a सो हमें ये जो फोर्स अप्लाई होची दैट इज नथिंग बट द लॉ ऑफ फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन एंड दैट इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू मास ऑफ ए लेट्स से एम ए एंड एम बी सो दिस इज एम ए एम बी डिवाइडेड बाय डी स्क्वायर राइट सो एज पर द न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन दिस फार्मूला यू विल रेट सो फ्रेंड्स इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अर्थ एंड ऑस देखो हमें मु कहूनी कि हमें किछि भी ऑब्जेक्ट द अर्थ इज अट्रैक्टिंग टुवर्ड्स इट्स सेंटर व्हाई द रीजन इज दिस फोर्स पर तमे कहि परियो गो इंटरेस्टिंग कथा तमे कहि परियो अर्थ काहे कि सब दिन सब टाणी नै होछि जदीओ सपोज आमे भी अर्थ को टाणु छै विथ इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ फोर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूटन्स लॉ यस आमे जति कि फोर्स दउ छु अर्थ भी हम ऊपर से दिख फोर्स दउ छी बट व्हाई वी आर नॉट अट्रैक्टिंग द अर्थ रीजन इज अर्थ का मास त बहुत अधिक so that acceleration will be very 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 less because newton second law so f equal to ma so jar mass adhik tar acceleration very less so that's why right and uh, another thing uh, gravitation ray will read suppose weight of a body kon jan chhe tumhe weight of a body mane jo force re jo force of attraction re body ta attract hoji towards the center sei nahi tar weight se. for example so the duster a duster ko if i will leave then it will getting attracted towards the earth so jethi ki force re attract hala that is nothing but the weight of the duster so ame ta ko ame already tame jani chho ba padhibo w equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity so w equal to ame kile puche mg so what is this g acceleration due to gravity remember this acceleration due to gravity is a constant value that is 9.8 meter per second square and remember this value is only on the surface of earth 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 to upar ko ko jiba jati ba tol ko jiba jati se value decrease karibo right kahin ki decrease karibo na see again you will read there is a relation am jodi it dekhu che separation upar depend karchi force jodi separation adhik ho force kam so jodi earth ra surface eta suppose earth ra surface eta hala ta radius am jodi distance katha kahu che a upar kichu object roila mane so radius distance if we will go 
to high altitude then this distance will get increased so distance body le obviously force kam jibo so g value bhi kam jibo because mass kam jibo nahi mass into g weight kam jibo means g will kam jibo similarly ami jodi uh, we will go deep inside of that then jitte ki mass influence kartla atro see gradually reduce jibo right जो डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस फोर्स मास मास क्लीन फिगर सो आई थिंक यू विल गेट अंडरस्टैंड ऑलरेडी तो इन डिटेल सपोज भर को सो एति की अर्थ रो मास थला टोटल मार्क रो साइज भी कमी गला सो ओबवियसली मास कमी जो अगेन जेते भीतर को जीवा सेते इन्फ्लुएंस रे कमी जीवो साइज कमी जीवो सो ओबवियसली ग्रेविटी भी कमी जीवो सो कंक्लूजन हला कि वैल्यू ऑफ जी जोडा 9.8 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर अर्थ रो सरफेस रे जेति की ऊपर को गले कम होछि तल को गले भी कम होछि राइट सो आई हैव गिवन सम ब्रीफ नॉलेज अबाउट ऑल दिस फाइव चैप्टर्स होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड जदि किछि बे आउरी डाउट थिबो देन यू विल रेड इन डिटेल व्हेनेवर यू विल विल कंडक्ट आवर रेगुलर क्लास होप दिस इंट्रोडक्शन क्लास विल हेल्प यू अ लॉट आ गोटे कथा हम कहबी डाउट आसीबो नियति दरकार इट इज अ गुड साइन राइट काहे कि ना मु सब गोले विश्वास करे जो पिलार डाउट आसुनि से पढिनि रीजन इज डाउट आसीबो जदि हमें पढिबा काहे कि ना the syllabus is so designed that it is uh, becoming uh, layer by layer diploma go to layer degree out to layer master degree out to layer so ame diploma al bhitare level re thai ki ame jodi doubt nahi then am ta man se layer ru am upar ku jao yes or no so patha padha doubt asiba ta definitely bhalo au jodi patha na padha doubt hi asibo right so jodi kichi doubt ro chi again mkd education देखो आउ आमर जो व्हाट्सएप नंबर अछि ईमेल एड्रेस अछि से इथरे तमरा डाउट पछारो एंड वी विल हेल्प यू वी आर ऑलवेज हियर टू हेल्प यू मु बिलीव करबी बा आशा करबी निहाती तमे आर लाभ उठैबो एंड डेफिनेटली लाइफ रे सक्सेस पाइबो एमकेड एजुकेशन थ्रू रे राइट तमे जो कॉलेज रे भी पढो जोठी भी पढो सेठी भलो पढो एंड टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ आवर एमकेड एजुकेशन राइट